all right all right welcome to Bikas Rip channel my name is Bikas and I'm here back again with another video this time a state management using just stand and just stand is a uh, very simple and easy to use and it's written here a small fast scalable uh, state management solution uh, simplified flux principle similar to redux however a uh, way way easier to set up and use so that's the reason I'm um, I'm doing this video and also I have not done just stand in my any project so this is going to be also first time for me so if this sound uh, good and if you are looking for state management and understanding state management in general or if you are planning to switch to just stand or planning to use just stand for your next project instead of redux or context then this video is for you however if you are really new to react or you don't know much about uh, or even you don't know why state management is needed then maybe you should watch other uh, basic videos that i have in my channel and then come back to this if that sounds good uh, hit the like button if you are new to this channel uh, hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell notification icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload new videos with that being said let's start the video all right so before we start with Justin directly uh, I am going to tell a bit about state management and why do we need it and what exactly it means and if you are already used to this term and you know it or you are coming from Redux then you can uh, skip this video I will leave uh, the timestamp in the description so feel free to at any point go to any point where you would like so first thing first what is state management well for that you need to know what is state and i have already mentioned in my earlier videos in react that uh, at the end of the day state is nothing than just a variable or information that you would like to use it in different part of your application in terms of react we can call it different part of your component even if it is page it is a component even if it is component it is a component so whenever you have a big project or even a small project but you have a lot of uh, components uh, then you will uh, slowly realize that uh, you need to have a single source of truth for your variables or state in this uh, in this context so i will be using state but i just have given you example here so let's say we have a state and that's nothing other than variables so we have two variables so one is to do's and it's uh, it's an array and then we have users that's also an array however you can have any state such as any data type it can be string it can be number it can be object and so on all right so in our case we do have to do's and users okay and then uh, we have a lot of components here at least uh, as an example so let's say we have component one that's a parents component and then it has children one and then there is another nested children so you have parents children and children similarly you have completely another page component where it also has a sub page component and it also has a children. and let's say you want to use uh, to do's in a lot of these uh, these components okay so i have hidden here so let's say uh, in my this example uh, component one it needs to have to do's value and then children three it requires users value and then children three here which is completely in different page in sub page component uh, we need children and also here also we need users so imagine if you don't have any one uh, single source of truth and you have to do uh, prop drilling so that that means you are passing props from the higher component and then it goes all the way to down and I have a separate video about how to edit and so on uh, in, in, in your props and children and you can watch that I will put that videos link also in the description so imagine this case these are completely different you are going the first level second level and third level in your component hierarchy in your component tree and then similarly there you have also completely separate page that means there should be somewhere here a parents application component or such and then it also has a sub component sub page component and that has a children so here is uh, here you can already see three level and here is three levels and then here somewhere you will have a main application component and you can already imagine how difficult it would be to have all those variables synchronized because at the end of the day state management is nothing than just having a single source of truth for all your variables or information it can be array it can be string number whatever you like to give it and then having those uh, those variables or those state being used in several part of your components throughout your application that's the one thing and then on top of that 
you should be able to modify this because if you have to do's or if you have users then you should be able to modify and to modify you also have one single source uh, source of truth for all the action in this case we have modifying to do's and also we have modifying users and that's also action and that is outside okay in somewhere in some other uh, maybe javascript file or typescript file and then you can do a delete update basically this kind of uh, all the modifying related uh, function or, or, or stops you can do it and then let's say uh, i will to toggle this on and now you can see from component one we should be able to update user so that means we should be probably able to update the information of that user one specific user or it can be of multiple users all right similarly from the children component you should be able to delete the user okay similarly there is also a user in this part so from this uh, completely separate uh, sub page component you should be able to add user and then from this component you should be update and then you should be deleting however here is also another component that's a child component from where you have to add uh, something on to do and then you do have here also delete to do which is completely in different tree in different uh, hierarchy here uh, so you have to do this so you can see that these are just a simple example and in a bigger component or in bigger uh, application you have a lot of other components and you should be doing uh, this kind of action and the important part is when you are deleting to do from here okay it should delete the to do from here whatever to do you want to delete and then because we are using that to do's also here and also here so the changes should reflect uh, immediately okay so that's whole idea of state management so there is a single source of truth that is a state where you have all the variables and information and there is a way to modify those that we call actions and then you can modify those from anywhere within your application however when you modify those the changes should be reflected to everywhere you have used that variable so that is as simple as it gets in terms of state management so with that i think you are clear now let's go to our uh, the main topic main agenda of the day and that is just stand so so you might be asking why just stand well uh, one thing obviously is i don't know <laughs> let's see together but uh, at least uh, while looking at the just stand quickly i can see that unlike redux or context api there isn't that huge of a setup which is already a uh, huge advantage because uh, if you want to do even a simple thing with Redux, then you need to go through all the boilerplate creating a store, which obviously we have to do here also, but it gets a lot more complex, especially if you already have application, then you need to modify, then you need to go to your main application, you have to wrap around and so on. And in terms of just end, you don't need to do all those. It's pretty simple. As I can see, you can just install just end and then you can import this create from just end and then you have a state so this is uh, beers state and then there are actions so basically um, almost dealing with methods and so on in your object or class and then uh, you just have setters and that just does the modification and that's all okay and then of course there are also binding your component and so on uh, which we will be at least uh, seeing at some point and then there is already example why and then there are a lot of other things such as middleware and so on uh, which we will not go into that detail however we'll just try to create a simple uh, something similar maybe not these many components with these many pages but and also not users so i will just have a simple to do a very simple and i will probably not even create so many components because the whole idea now is just to create the store and you know once you have a store once you have actions you can use it throughout your application throughout any part of your application and components so for this tutorial or for this explanation i'm just going to use probably one simple uh, application and for that let's go and let's create a react application all right i will copy this and then i have my terminal here and i'll just copy like this and then just give it a name and that will be just and t all right. all right so this is installed and i just have to do cd and then you already know i have code dot and that should open my vs code studio 
so so our react application is installed and it's working uh, but like always i will just go and clear out everything so we don't need to uh, deal with all the unnecessary stuff so all right so i modified everything and now we just have check check here everything else is deleted so we have index which is wrapping our application and then we have app and then there is a css which we may or may not use it okay so to start it uh, let's go here in our uh, source file uh, source folder and then i will call it a store you can call also call it uh, just then the only reason why i like to name uh, things like this uh, is because later let's say we don't like just and somehow it doesn't make sense i'm making a video about just and saying that we might not like but however there can be those situations so if you have a name store then you don't need to change it to something else and and, and then modify later but if you have a just and and you try to use redux later it can be problem for you so we have created a store and inside store i will uh, like to have an index file uh, you can call it whatever you like uh, but usually from my redux practice or other state management practice i usually have an index file and then i have the main store here and then i will use other stores later from different places okay so now we have this if we go back to our here uh, we need to install uh, just add which i have already done it so you can go and do it you can use npm or yarn and in my case it's yarn and then next thing i will just go and copy this so i have this copied and we are getting a warning here and obviously that is because we have a typescript file and then we are not defining types here for now uh, for the sake of simplicity i will just do any and then i will show you and then later when we actually implement our to-do store that's when i will actually use uh, an actual uh, types there okay for now let's just uh, make it simple so we have our use store which is what we created using justin you see and then it has set and then we can use that set to update uh, whatever the state that we want to update with and that's as simple as that all right so we have two uh things here uh one is to increase population of bears and that is by one you can see and then we have remove all bears we even don't need to remove uh, use this so let's just uh, take it away for now and we just have these two the next thing we have to export uh, obviously you can also do export const here or since this is an index file and we want to only have one store here so for that reason i'm going to do uh, here is export default and then that will be audio store all right so that's all done i don't need this okay so now if we go here we need to import it obviously just like we would impro import just like we would import anything and we have used store and that's coming from our store and that's all we need and the next thing that's the interesting part so how are we going to get this state in this case beers so let's start with this and then we will modify so i'll just go and i will remove this uh, check check from here so i will have a div and so this div will have total number of beers and we will be having some variable here and that variable will be beer so for now let's just have zero and then we will also have a button to increase it okay so the button to increase and obviously button will require on click value here and then we will do something okay so instead of having this hard-coded beers here now we can use this use store and that use store will give us something and that will be if you see here in the documentation somewhere here we will have a state and peers all right so let's go and let's do the same thing so basically uh that use store that's a hook and we will get a state so that is all the states we will have at the moment we have beers but if you have more than beers then you will have all those and then you can just use dot and then whatever the name of that is state okay and in this case we are getting warning because again we don't have the type definition uh, in later stage i will actually create a types and then i will import the types here and also i will import the types here and we can also have advantage of using types but for now let's just go and let's do beers here and that's all right similarly uh, there was also increase okay so let's just go and let's do the same thing and for now let's keep type any okay 
and then I will use this since this is a function and it is because we can see from here this was just a state normal variable however this is a function so so we are now passing this function here and that should do the job now if I save it and if I restart my program okay so initially we have zero because that's what our initial state had and then if I increase you can see it's increasing the number and that's all we needed to know from this state management and now just to give you a small a hint about how you can use it in another component so let's say we have a children component and then this I can have the this kind of component so this is a children component and then all you can do is basically copy this all right and then go here and do it and obviously we don't have use store and that also we can copy and we can have use store here and now here also what I can do is this is a children component total number of beers and then we can do beers all right and similarly we can also just cut this so i have a div here so this is a button and instead of increase let's do decrease and then we can go here and we can just modify this instead of increase we can just do decrease and then we can do minus one and now instead of increase let's just copy this function name here and then all right so we have decreased population okay and this is uh, from children component okay and now also let's go here and this is parents component okay and here we are increasing and now let's go here and then i will give s3 here and i will say children component below this since we don't have any styling so i just wanted to separate it and then all we need to do is we need to have a children component okay and we even don't need this and we don't need this all right so we have children component and if we go here you can see that this is a parents component total number of beers zero and there is increase and then this is a children component below this so until here this is still a parents component however this is a children component we are rendering so the idea is that whatever we do the state should be synced okay so that's what i told you about state management and now we are kind of doing this uh, as a parents and this is a children component so now if i increase this should also increase and you see this does and i can increase and this is uh, the same way uh, const i can increase more and then this is consistent to the parents or to our main state and let's decrease it and you see when i decrease from a children component since this is a children component it also shows the same data reflected in the parents component so you see this is the beauty about just and to do the same thing in uh, redux we would first need to go to our index or somewhere uh, not this index but our main index component we would probably need to import the store uh, wrap it with uh, some some redux tools and so on and then we need to do that however this is super 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 simple in case of just time okay so that's all about just then but now just to give you a little bit more of a setup with uh, types and also to do's uh, i will go and create now a to do uh, store here so let's go here and then i will call it a to do store and that is ts here all right and then this will be our to do store and we are expecting set here and that's all and then if you are wondering what is this set okay so this is the same set that we get here when we create our um, justin and using that set we can modify our state and since we are going to create a separate file so we need to pass that whenever we are calling this function okay 
so that's all you need to know and then just like here we will have our to do's okay and that is going to be okay all we need to do is wrap this all right so that's good and this set is expecting something and and so on and we will uh, we will deal with that and then okay no problem uh, we will handle that also so let's go here and then we can do export default and then we can do to do store so now this is exported okay before moving forward uh, let's go and let's define a types for our to do's so types and uh, in actual uh, production level or bigger project i usually have a types folder here and then for each of the state and or any types i need to do i define there and then i export one into in one index file and so on i have a separate video and in future i will also make uh, more videos about that so here let's just have a type and that will be to do's type okay and we have to do's actually um okay well let's just leave it like this for a while and the reason behind that is i'm going to do something else so we also need a types for a single to do okay so that is type and to do type don't get confused because i have to do here and then i have i mean to do's here and i have to do here and then uh okay there is some problem here so let's just do that and then to do so let's uh, have a number okay and uh, now i'm thinking more for what we can have inside our to do's list and the name that is whatever the name of the to do and then the last thing uh, we will have do i even need this comma i don't need okay and then the last thing we will have will be completed okay and that will be boolean so if it is true that means the task or the to do is completed if not it's not completed okay it's not done all right so instead of this what i can do is i can have an array and then i can do to do type and i don't need this and i might even have a problem so pause let's have a to do type and then so what i'm saying here is okay uh, we will have to do's type and that to do's type is nothing than array of all to do so basically uh, it will have id num and name and com completed inside an object and to do's will be uh, array of object of to do okay so now uh, here we don't need to do anything and here we can always have initial state and usually initial state can be empty or you can also have an object inside there that's fine and we will use this state somewhere later okay and then there is a still set and set at the moment i can do any uh, basically this set is the same set that we pass from here and i actually don't know what's the type of this so the set is okay there is a type but i don't know i think i'll just leave it uh, any for now and then we have to do so now let's have our first thing and that is aid to do okay so we have aid to do remember we had aid to do and then delete to do okay that's those are the only two. actually we will also have uh, update to do so we have eight to do and then we can copy something from here okay let's just copy almost a similar approach from here and since we are getting set from there that's good and then we also have a state and in our case uh, let's also create a state uh, or actually good will be that if we can create a state here i'm still thinking where will be the best place to create a state types all well, for now let's just create a step here uh a state here a state type okay if needed later we'll modify so this state needs to have everything we want to have in our state so for that reason uh, i'm going to have here uh 
our state and the first thing we have is to do's and to do's have a, the type of to do's type okay so that's the state the first state and then here in this state i can give a state type all right that's good so we have a to do and it says that it's expecting this that's good so we have a to do and then what we need to do with a to do okay so in a to do we are expecting to do and that to do will be uh okay we can just have to do and that to do will be partial of to do type so basically this is our to do type and we might generate id ourselves here so we don't need that but we at least want something from there so we have parcel of to do type and then we need to do something here okay so what are we going to do all right so that's the interesting part and then and then inside here i can do so that our to do's will be our state no actually our to do's will be same as this array and then we will add the to do that we just got and then the rest will be our state dot to do's so what i am doing here is i have a add to do function that will take to do and that to do will be the same as whatever the to do we are passing we actually don't need to do this partial type so let's just do it something like this okay so we have a to do and that to do is taking a to do that is an object and then it's adding to our main state of to do's okay and then it's also not uh, mutating that means i mean it's not deleting uh, the remaining part so it's just spreading it so as we add it just adds more and more all right that's good the next one we can just have like this and then instead of aid we can just do deal to do and then here what we need to do is we need to have a bit of uh, modification here and then uh, in this instead of that we need id and that is a number okay and now we have to again set state all right that's good however here the to do's will be something different here okay so the to do's will be and that will be state dot to do's dot filter and then we get two and that two dot id should not be equals to whatever id we pass okay so that way it will remove that specific uh, to do from the list and then return everything else and then set that in this state and then the last one modify or update to do and then in this case we will have also to do and that will be to do type okay and then we will have also setter here and it will have a state and that will have a state type and then we need to do something here so there will be a bit of uh, interesting part going here so what we need to do is we need to update to do's that's good and then we also need to map all the to do's okay and then map and that will give us to do and then we can actually break this like this so if our t dot id is same as whatever the to do we are trying to modify if that's the case we want return we want to return the to do that is our next to do else we want to return the t okay so i don't know if this is confusing for you but what i'm trying to do is okay let's just create update to do so when we want to update to do we are passing a uh, to do and that will have the id of that plus whatever we want to update it can be name or it can be in our case completed true or false and then we have the setter state everything else is same except in this case 
we are returning all the to do's because we are mapping so map will return everything and then it's for each to do uh, for each of these uh, to do that we are mapping from to do's if that to do's id is same as whatever the to do that we want to update then we want to update that to do so that means if whatever the value we have there we want that to go in this to do's uh, array otherwise we want to return whatever it has so that's all so with this we have all a delete and update function and with this now i have a to do store and until now i'm not doing anything with this to do store because i have to use it somewhere all right so to use it now we have to somehow get rid of these okay that's fine however i need to import now something and then that is to do store so i'm importing here and then here i am just going to pass here i'm just thinking we can have a to do store and that will be to do store and then i have to pass the set there all right so now you already saw that inside here we have a to do store and then inside to do store i actually call now everything and you can see we have to do's we have a to do we have delete to do and everything and that's all we need to do and i'm passing that set here and that's why i'm having that set as any and now you can see that uh, with all these this is pretty nicely working i hope all right so now we already created our store however all of these will be broken now so we have to go and i will actually delete this children store for now okay and then obviously we'll have problem here since we don't have that and also i'm going to remove this from here actually yeah let's let's remove those from there and then also let's have it here all right so now inside our application we can render to do's and then we can also have a way to add to do and also we can have way to remove to do okay so first thing first uh, let's go and in our here uh, initially let's have one to do here and id will be one okay name will be first to do and then we have completed and that can be false all right so that's good now we are having some problem here to do store 27 so okay if that's well in that case we can just have let to do and initially this can be this t and we don't even need to do this and then here we can do that this to do can be whatever the to do we have sent and then we can have return to do so i just did a modification let's see if that solves we are still getting a problem uh, we'll try to see, look into that a bit later all right i was running into one issue and that issue actually was already solved but it it kept on showing me the issue and then i just had to restart and now i think all good uh, basically i just did this this initialization of uh, one temporary value called to do and that is the same as whatever we are mapping but only if uh, this to do id matches with this mapping id then we are returning or we are updating this to do with actual value whatever we have passed in other case this also already has in other case it already has its uh, looped value and then we are returning that and that should be good all right so with that we have a to do store done and we also have uh, this one here done and i'm still not uh, sure about the state type i think we still need to define that and actually let's just go here and somewhere here we can have a state type uh, ap state type so let's just have a type and that can be ap state type okay or store state type whatever we can say we can even say store state type uh, that sounds better so 
we just do it like this and we have a store and a state type and it should have everything that we are having okay so now if we go here and then we can just do that we have to do a store and that is type of and whatever to do store we have this way it has also the exact same type of that and then in future when you have more and more stops and then you can use that all right so now we have this let's go to our application and let's have a simple uh, to do type of a feature here so first thing first let's play the input field for adding to do okay and then to do list render all right so uh, i will have div here and then this will have actually this will have heading to all to do's okay and then we are just going to render all our to do's and we need to do's for that so for that reason let's go to our here actually um somewhere here let's just do so that we have export type and that way now here like that we can also import something and that is a store step type all right so now let's go here and we can have to do's and that to do's will come from our store and that will give us a state and that state will be our store so that state should be our this here okay cannot find oh, all right that is because we need to do something like this and then we have a state we have to do a store and then we need to have to do's okay so we definitely have some problem with our state so okay uh, so this is our state and that state doesn't reflect with what we want to show because this do have to do store okay and that says type of to restore hmm. and then can we do any for now <laughs> let's do any for now and then let's try to render to do's okay uh, we will have some problem there but let's see to do's dot map and then we will give get to do here and then that we can just have a list and then to do to do dot name we can do that and for now let's give this also any i know this is all type related thing i hope and you can see we have our first to do so at least now we know that our states are uh, done properly and we are getting all the value all right so there was a bit of debugging and such and i finally realized that i want to make this a bit simpler than what i thought uh, and probably in future video i will try to make it a little bit uh, longer with with multiple stores combined in one uh, and it was mainly because of typescript and nothing else my earlier approach was working it's just uh, you could see that when i was using any and it, it was doing all good but however now i will just like to make it a bit simple so let's just import our to do store and then uh, we can also have use store and then this use store also comes from create okay and then here i'm just gonna pass to register for now and i hope everything should be good oh we have here so i can do state and then state dot you can see to do's all right so we have uh, already to do's here and then let's save it so if i refresh that's all good okay so the next thing uh, in our design was also a to do and that we can do it here uh, that can be our input field so let's create a component and that component can be it to do component and we don't need this but i'm just doing it uh, just just so that 
uh, you can see how it works uh, with a different component and then this is our add to add to do and also here uh, i would like to import this at least okay and then i would like to have a function and that function will be add to do and it is coming from our use store and if you notice we have a state and then add to do so that's our function and then inside add to do all i need to do actually i have few things to do so input and that's text uh, we actually don't even need name but we can have it okay and we don't even need id all right so name can be to do and then we will have a button okay so that will be to add it to do okay and then here placeholder something writing a book okay so this can be placeholder and then we also need a state for this so let's go here uh, to do state for input value and then that we can do to do and then we can have set to do and that can come from react use um yeah react use state okay so we have that and initially do we want to give anything okay we don't need to give anything we can we can see what we want to do because there are a few things we want to do actually let's just have it here and then we have id uh, let's just give zero and then we have name and that's an empty string and then completed is false because that's what we had our to do's type if you remember so now we can have a button handle to do and then uh, let's create temp to do object and then here we can have uh, id and id can be math.seal and then we can have math.random and then the random can be for our sake let's have on to 1000 and the name will be whatever the name we will be typing here in to do and then obviously completed will be false all right so this is our attempt to do and then we will do something so that is we will call this our a to do function and it will require our temp to do okay actually we don't even need this we just need name here and set name that's the to do's name and initially we have empty and that will be name here all right so this is all we need to do and then in on click we want handle it to do we want that and now here on change we will have e and then we will have set name and that will be e the target dot value all right so that's all we needed and now we need to import that here so let's just do a to do component okay so now we have a to do here and if i write something here uh, cooking food if i edit here you can see it's added automatically and that is because uh, we have this component and inside this component now uh, we have uh, all this input field and on change function every time it changes it is updating name here and then when we click on click handle a to do that is actually calling our a to do from our to do store here okay and then what it does is it just it just uh 
a this value because that's what we are expecting so a to do and to do is expecting in this way and we have everything there that's good so the next thing is delete to do so for that reason we have to go here and then inside here we can have a delete uh, button so delete and this button should do something and that is we have to also call that and then let's choose deal to do and then here instead of this instead dot to do's we can do deal to del dot to do and then now we can on click all we can do is we can do del to do and it requires id and that id will be to do dot id and something is missing here on click okay we can just make it an arrow function all right so although we have id here uh, obviously what we can also do we if we don't give any here it should all be fine because now we are getting the stage from here and you see we have the smart thing here and that's id all right so that should be good now if i delete this that's deleted that's deleted all right perfect so now let's refresh it so that we have our initial to do there and then the last thing we need to do is update to do so we can do so that uh we can obviously have a separate component just to update uh do we want to do that um i'm not so sure maybe not so let's just have here some sort of checkbox okay so so we have input and that is checkbox we don't need anything here however we just want to have checked and that checked is a boolean value okay so we have this only if to do completed then it's checked otherwise it's not checked you can see we have this and obviously now we are not handling so now we have to also handle that and for that reason uh, we have actually a function handle update our update actually also updates the actual anything so that means you can even change the list name however we don't want to create input field for now so for this uh, we just want to toggle that off on and off so all we i need to do is const handle update for now okay so um what i need okay so i just want to know which list we are talking about so actually i can have a click function there and then there i can pass id that is number and then here what i can do is from our to do's cons i will get that to do which we are talking about from our to do's dot filter and then that will have to do where to do dot id is same as the id we are talking about all right so now we have to do and then all i need to do is to do okay let's just do let here and that's the first index of that and now i need to do to do dot completed is same as to do dot completed so every time i click it will refresh okay that's good and then i need to also get something from here and that is update to do and then update to do all right so now i can just call update 
to do and it expects our to do and that is this all right so all i did is every time we will click uh, our that checkbox it will uh, switch it if it is checked it will say uncheck it and if it is unchecked it will check it so it's just reversing all the time and then it updates so now all we i need is i need this function here and then in the checkbox instead of attaching anything i can also have a click here because we can attach clicking everything and then i can have this handle update and here i can pass to do dot id all right so now if i go here you can see it checks it on six now we can write a new item here uh, cleaning house let's add then lighting candle making a course video okay so we have all these and then if i want to tick this this is ticked this is tick this is dick and i can delete this i can delete this i can uncheck it i can uncheck it all right and you can see that all you need to do in any component just like we had eight to do okay if you want to have another component so we had earlier child component so let's go here and let's say we have children component and that children component we can just have okay so we have a children component and let's see inside our div here we can also render only one item there uh, i don't know why but let's just see so let's have children component okay and i will also just for clearing out okay so now we have children component and this is a children component and now inside there if i want to have those to do all i need to do is use this first of all okay and then I can just copy this. I can have it here. And then I can basically. Okay. So I can basically copy all these also inside there. So just like this. And then here inside children component. I can also render. things as it is now if we go here every time i add something here a new to do it will be added to both of the state although this is inside children and even from children i can mark it done and you can see this is reflect here if i delete this one it will be gone from here if i uncheck it so you can see that you can do from any component and you can add from completely different component and all the states are uh, handle properly so this is all about uh, uh, today's video i was uh, planning to make it a shorter however uh, we went an extra mile by creating a completely this new to do store and obviously my earlier initial plan was instead of having this to do store here i would somehow make it so that uh, we can have in future many other store and probably i will make a separate video about that uh, i need to look a bit and then i will do it so this was more like even though you will see it recorded but for me more like a live coding so i had no idea how it was and this was also a challenge for me but i will definitely try to use this kind of uh, method and then i will try to solve the typescript and maybe in future i will bring uh, more videos with just stand where you can have multiple stores in this case we only have one store and it even doesn't make sense that uh, we are even wrapping it here and separating it we could be doing all this thing actually like whatever i have done it here we could do directly inside here however i'm just leaving a room so that in future i will make it so that uh, we will have to do this store and similarly we will have users store and everything so we will have a separate file and then i can combine them somehow uh, i have to see the just stand way i know the redux way and so on but i have to see the just stand way and then i have to modify it uh, everything so that you can have the same kind of functionality however 
with the scalable option so you can have as many store as you want in fusion and now you can add more functions here if you want to do something and then you can just deal with it you can have even already more state even inside to do store okay uh, for example if we want to have all the completed completed to do's we can also do something here and maybe filter it from all the to do's that has completed is true or so on you know so that's all about today's video i hope it was useful for you and if you agree with that then please uh, hit the like button so that other can see this video if you are new to this channel remember to subscribe this channel so that other can also see and learn from us okay uh, with that being said thanks so much for watching this video and until next keep coding bye bye